Hey everyone, Cody here, and today I want to do a Fine Art, Romer Fine Art America review. Uh, this is both from the perspective of a buyer and a seller, so I've done both on there. Um, so I figured I'd just give you some input on uh, my experience there. So let's talk about the aspects of being a buyer, or sorry, let's, let's start with the seller portion. So I like Fine Art America. I've used some other print-on-demand sites to upload you know, images of some of the art that I've done. What I like about Fine Art America is that there's a lot of um, there's a lot of things that you can put on on there that aren't available on other sites. Also, it's very easy to upload to Fine Art America. Uh, on many other sites, you have to go in and customize each individual thing, um, or even if you set customization, you have to go through and edit that every time. With Fine Art America, you can just upload the image, you can set your defaults, and then every image you post after that. Um, we'll just post by those defaults, you know, including like the sizes or the price that you make per product. So it's very easy to upload to. Um, I have sold a few things on there, but not a lot, like $10, $15 worth of stuff. I find that with Fine Art America, because it's so, it is one of the most trafficked out of all the print on demand sites, that you have to have a lot of art in order to kind of succeed on there, or you have to heavily. Um, publish it so I would say that if you are an artist or a photographer it will work for you it can work for you but you have to either have a lot of art or you have to be heavily promoting that Fine Art America page what I also like about Fine Art America as a seller is that not only do you get your Fine Art America page but you also get a pixels website if you have the premium um, that's pretty cool because then you can kind of brand yourself as a store um, and you get an actual store link instead of just like a link to a page. So that is also pretty cool. Uh, lastly, the um, just selling on there is very simple in the fact that if you want to change enough, like edit an image, you can do that. Um, and once you edit it and upload it, then it'll you know reformat it so that you know it shows up on the products. And they just have a lot of things like you can do uh, shower curtains or towels or pictures, you know, acrylic prints or you know whatever right so there's, there's just a lot of um, things there now as far as the margins I mean for the for the amount you make what's nice is that you can set the margin so that you you can do decide how much you make from each product so that's pretty cool too um, so I mean honestly there's a few things that like what I don't like about Fine Art America one is that it's heavily um, it's very uh, how do I competitive but what is cool is that when you sell a product, it shows up in this list of um, like an it's like an announcement page that goes out to other people. So other people that are on Fine Art America can see that you sold something. So that's pretty cool because you can kind of celebrate your successes with other people. Um, but uh, like I said, the one thing that I don't like is that the some, there are some items that are available on other websites that I don't see on Fine Art America as far as like types of products that they print on, like clocks. Um, clocks are like a huge thing on like Society6, and I think it was either Redbubble or Zazzle that also has clocks. Maybe they both do. I, maybe they both do. Um, but, you know, Fine Art America doesn't have that. So they don't have everything that you can put that art on. But they do have a lot of things, and like I said, what's nice is um, if you upload an image, the person or you can customize how much of that image is available on the product. So, you know, if this was the picture behind me, you know, they could do the whole thing as a print, or they could zoom in and do this much, you know, um, on a mug or a phone case or whatever it is. So it's it's very simple to use. The Another thing that I don't like about Fine Art America is... The way their site is structured is very weird. Um, so, like they, the tags, the tags will. Uh, how do I explain this? It creates a page for each tag. Like when you, so when you upload a uh, uh, piece of like an image, then it lets you tag. Well, the tags are themselves pages. Um, so the tags could have your art, but also someone else's. And that's kind of weird, but also trying to navigate through the different products. So I'm trying to go from like a phone case to um, a shower curtain isn't always easy because if you look at one product, it might just show other products, but not all of the available products that you could get. It's, it's hard to explain, but like said that I, I searched a phone case, 
but then you know I was interested in a handbag well it may not show it over on the side so you have to go way down the page and then you'll see it like at the bottom but that's not even on every page so depending on where you go the site is a little weird to navigate sometimes it's not bad and you can find what you're looking for but that that kind of frustrates me even if I'm not buying from it myself I've, I've gone through the site to like see what it's like and that was one thing that frustrated me so they don't necessarily make it super easy to find everything you will again you'll find a lot of stuff on the side but that's not necessarily true that you'll you know it's easy to find everything so that's something that frustrated me but again it's not a huge deal just something I noticed now let's talk about the buying side okay so my wife bought me a phone case from Fine Art America. It's actually on my phone right now. Um, it's in one of my other videos, a couple of videos back, where I talk about the uh, the phone case that she got me, so you can see what it looks like in that. But so let's talk about first off the the product itself, and then kind of the process. So the product itself, the phone case, I really love it. Um, I think it's very nice. Um, I have not stress tested it, so I haven't like thrown it or anything to see how well it holds up. I don't expect it to because the the, the casing on it is a hard plastic, um, but it's got like a neoprene inside. So I think it would protect the phone to a degree. It's no otter box, but you know, it's as good as a lot of some of these, these cases you can get for 20, 30 bucks elsewhere, like from the phone store or, you know, from the electronic store or whatever. Uh, the price was $35 and I think that's reasonable it may be a little on the higher side for similar cases but at the same time it's customized so it has my art on it so it's a picture of my art so it is custom it's not just something that you just pick up from Target or something for 10 20 bucks right it's it's customized so it is a little more like I said I think it was like 35 bucks my wife said so just expect to uh, you know for as a buyer that it's gonna be a little more than just something you can get at the store again customize um, but I like the I like the, the product itself like it came out really nice um, I, the picture looks pretty good on the case itself and you know it fit and everything and uh, it seems to be doing its job um, so I do like the product that I think it's good haven't bought anything else from them so I couldn't say anything else but the phone case I, itself it, I do like it all right now let's talk about the process. My wife said that the website was actually very easy to use. She said she had no problems with it. So, you know, in talking about that, she said that she was able to find it pretty easily. But at the same time, I think she kind of knew what she was looking for. So, you know, that may or may not be true for everybody. Um, the shipping aspect. So the shipping was pretty fast. It was like less than two weeks that I got it. Um, and it came just fine, no issues. Um, and okay let's talk about the profit so she bought it for 35 because it was my product um, I actually got five dollars back and I mean that's not a lot so you know if you you're making a seventh essentially back okay you would have to sell quite a few phone cases to make a lot of that money back so you're not making a whole lot so unless you're selling hundreds or thousands a month even if you sold a hundred at five dollars you're only making 500 so just think about that so I don't think that the profit is very very high for that type of product you could probably increase the price of the phone case or you could probably you know try to make that money elsewhere but just as a heads up I mean five dollars is not a lot to sell something for thirty five dollars for the profit again I'm not here for the money for those products so just letting you know as a seller um, but I mean other than that that's pretty much it no issues um, with the product or or getting it or it taking forever the overall the process is pretty smooth I like it a lot so I mean it's what's nice about it is because it's custom and it's my art I can show people and not only show them because it's it's unique and it, it was a very personal gift to me that I I you know I love a lot of things that my wife has always got me but this particular gift is very personal to me because one, she went out of her way to do it, but two, it's got my art on it. So it's just a piece of me that I get to carry around with me everywhere I go. It's pretty awesome. But also, it's almost like an advertising piece because I get to show people the phone case and when they start asking, like, oh yeah, well, you know, it's my art. You can find it at my site and then tell them. So not only is it a cool personal gift, but it's also for me, if, you, if, if you're an artist or photographer, I don't know anything like that then that you can use something like that to 
advertise, which is really cool, and, and it's kind of like a, a bonus side effect. So obviously if you buy a mug, that may not be the case, but overall my experience with Fine Art America has been good. Um, again, as a seller, I don't see making a whole lot of money out of it um, unless you sold like a lot of maybe canvas prints or photo frame prints or something like that. If you could sell hundreds or thousands of those a month, then you'd probably be set. However, there is a lot of competition and the profit is not very high. You can set it higher, but then, you know, that person, whoever is buying it, is paying an increased price too. So just some things to think about. But um, overall, my experience both uh, as a buyer and a seller has been positive. Um, and uh, so far, I like it. Again, I can't speak for any other print-on-demand sites, but that's my uh, that's my review of Fine Art America. Hopefully that helps. And if you have any questions, comments, you know, leave them in the whatever um some cool sites down there but uh if you like it please like rate share subscribe all the cool stuff i'll catch you guys later take care